Warlord. Very, very close indeed on this early game. Uh, yet to see uh, anyone die. Miracle is going to be charged upon here. Let's see if they have the control with the Burr Strike and the Chilling Dirt. They've got it. That's going to be your first blood, Vega. Making so one thing on Vega while uh, Liquid is mostly splitting dual. Bottom lane. They have the rotation with GH. They try to come up with the Fisher Block. But the reaction is going to be there for Vega. Slayers TP's in with the charge. Again, a second kill for Vega Squadron. Taking good uh, control of these lanes, making good reads as well, knowing where and when they can make a play and not be punished. Yeah. He's already blinked as well. Uh -oh. His blinks on cooldown for six seconds. Haven't they got the damage to bring him down? He's brought down though with that nuke. Yeah, got they've him. got him. Slayer. In hindsight. But other than that, they've just been getting just away. Super low. But now they're able to at least claim the tier one away from the troll. It's their next target. GH in the middle lane. They hold this back. Uh, he's going to be never striking now. He's fast. He's going to only get the pass over. It doesn't matter though. If they get the connection. Jewel's there for G. They get the kill. Liquid, can they get anything in return? They'll lay down the macro pyre on to share over the Slayer. They'll get both of them. They'll get themselves the AA. They should get themselves the Breaker. He's trying to charge up onto the quad, but he's not going to get it. This time Matumba turning up into town. Grants the double kill. G in trouble as well. Liquid punishing Vega very hard there for that slightly uh, no. slightly knee-jerk dive there. Hey, they they saw the Earth Shaker. They very hard for Miracle to really show too long on the map. Has to keep it safe. Has to keep it by the neutral. He had Aloha here with that ward. They do have vision of him. It. And it could be reaction upon him if they don't kill him immediately. Aloha Dance tries to turn, gets the axes out. There's a charge coming through, but there's the control. They'll get the kill. Massive nuke though from G comes in. The mech comes through. Can they kill Matumba in time? Echo Slap comes out. There's the ice blast and Matumba Man's gone. GH as well in a whole lot of trouble as he pops Kuro trying to turn, but the Shrine Heal's there for Vega Squadron and they get themselves a third. Great reaction and grouped up absolutely perfectly there for G to just send those arrows flying. I'm on Dark Tyrion Earthshaker now, so it's all about who has the vision game to get it. But like we said, as soon as he gets the BKB, probably gonna go straight for that Roshan. But I mean, this is Liquid risky. is set up. They can punish this. GH comes in straight away with a snap. No messing around. Jump forward as well. They're looking for the combo here. Bring them down low, but it's in fact Vega that come out on top. They've already taken out the Shaker. BKB out just in time from Aloha Dance to move in for a second. And G's not done. Jumps onto the high ground, has the jaw onto Matumba Man, and they find themselves. A third miracle will clean up the AA. Damn. Overall, there. Did you see that by G? I was just playing on the left damage. side. No, he's the press the removing the stun off of, a, off of uh, Aloha so he can get the BKB off because the Echo Slam, he has the chain stun. But no, okay. well, not what you want to take in trade for losing three of your own and the. To the man. Four here onto the AA. We'll turn to get the Ice Blast off. In fact, they, they're ready to fight. AA might not even die. Silent. He's walking it off, he will tick down, but again, Vega coming out on top, they get two, they're not done yet. Burrow strike straight forward as they get a third. And Liquid have got to stop for bodies like this. I mean, they're, they're creating space for Miracle, but they are dying over and over again for it. It, it, you know, it's space, it, it stops being a little bit of space, but you can't see lose three already. <laughs> Still wretches into the middle of the whole team and, and starts punching, because he knows that Liquid can't do anything in return. They, they just panic and run. He's just wait, watch out for the the, the gem. That's the one thing. We actually picked it up now with Mantu. Oh, now they will get the AA. No, not having to worry about that blast in the fight is nice. Especially if they get more. They're looking to move forward. They'll get the vacuum out, holding the back. Brett Miracle jumping in. Look at the show with the Slayer. Lower dance, forcing back Kuro here with the axes. It's going to be a duel on the back line. G just goes straight in, gets the successful win. He's looking to chase down Kuroki. He not going to quite get the damage out there. The Ice Path holds back the Legion. A lower dance did manage to end up himself the kill here. Can they get Afterlife? They can. Liquid do find a third. Curl eyes on to the Legion. Low Heart Dance is ready to go back in. Low Heart Dance looking for the easy kills. Jumps in onto the Shaker. Doesn't get it. Has he got enough passage yet? The BKB's back out. Pops the BKB. Able to lock down onto one. Moves over to Kuroki. Picks up the double kill. Miracle jumps across. <laughs> He's just like running. He's I going. And Lohar does. He's just playing absolutely ham here. Miracle pops the Manta style. They can't really man fight up against this with the vacuum. Vega now have to run back. Lohar is being chased. And that's a big kill for Miracle. But he has got the ages. He's going to be back and ready for round two. G 
will unfortunately be able to jump back up to the high ground and avoid this. The question with the high ground at the moment. Slayer heading forward. Will dispel some of the smoke. They'll pop down the Fisher. Dust as well. Miracle tries to jump forward. Won't quite get the jump onto Slayer. Now Slayer can turn. Has been hit a strike into the jewel. The Linkus has been popped, but the ice path comes out. Can they keep Miracle alive? The bashes. No, they can't. Vega find the big kill. Take down the anti mage. And now try and chase for more. GH on the retreat. Jump forward from G. Got the slowdown here from the Vortex. And this is almost certainly going to be a dead shaker as well as Vega Squadron get a second. Okay, B timing from the uh, on us. Meaning the Liquid can't get the follow up. It's blocked up a little bit, but it doesn't matter as Liquid had their attention drawn towards G. Slayer charging across, will be cancelled by the vacuum. And again, Shoma the Slayer kind of throwing his life for them here, trying to give time for the rest of Vega Squadron to get out of there. Mind Control is hot on the chase though. And they punish this. Jump forward from Miracle. G pops the BKB, but the bash comes through from the anti mage. Have they actually got the damage to fight through this Legion? That's the question. No, he's not going to turn. He goes for the jewel straight up. Can he get away with this? He's bringing it down low. The Yule's up is there to make sure that the jewel isn't successful. And they do then get the slam down, dunk down kill on to it. Take down that Legion. Has down for 90 back. seconds. Yeah. I, why not this game race? I mean, I, I had the amount of successful duels that he's had, he only had to use press the attack in it. one situation anyway, he's so he doesn't need it every time it's up. He just needs it on those first blown initiations. Shadow, silver edge up. There, and they don't even need it. Actually, proper bash only gets the MKB mini procs is enough. Not scared at all. Moves in for more miracle. Will jump forward. We're gonna try and bring him down. Has the Abyssal Blade drop and the mana point pulling down low, but low does. He's still alive here. Finally gets back you back. There's the Echo Slam. They've lost the Aegis on the Legion. He's gonna be back for round two. Shanking down. Immediate buyback. He does have the boosted travel to get himself back into the fight. They find mind control. He buys back G. Looking towards the Aegis. They get him down with a new. That's gonna be a second buyback for Liquid. They're all coming back into this one, trying to hold these racks, and it's working for the time being. They take down the AA, quick for a strike down to the low ground, but the jump force there from Liquid. They have the all set up into the ice path. They will hold. Nothing. The Tumor Man jumping forward, but the Shiva's guard. They're going to go in on this. The Abyssal Blade is dropped down. Miracle thinking forward, but there's the charge through. The ice blast as well connects onto Miracle. And they've managed to get the jewel locked down as well. They block the Lincolns, catch the anti mage, take down Miracle. Can they get more? Slayer falling low, but Tumor Man nukes him. Jones forward onto G with the dagger. Kuro Mind Controller there as well. As they surround the Legion Commander, G trying to fight back, but the ice blast there locking him down. Mind Control gets the double kill. I mean, the first pick's Bear Breakers and stuff. Oh, that oh, they're down. gonna jump in onto Lower Dance, but that force may just save him. The vacuum wall comes out, but Lower Dance gets the BKB off in time. Vega looking to disengage though. They know that they don't have the advantage here. This BKB running low. They're the follow through. You all set him into the Sonic Wave. Mana Void. Lower Dance is down, along with Shoma the Slayer. Liquid. Uh, They've got they the Aegis and Cheese. Since they don't have the buybacks on either the uh, Troll or the Legion. It's going to be pretty important to have that as long as they don't get killed before they can use it. Here we go. Has to be spotted out though. There's the Hex Trainer. Miracle jumps in. Afterlife God Slayer. Actually trying to turn over the fight. Commits with a Nether Strike. Charge through as well. He needs back up and he needs to quit, but he's not going to get it. The Ice Bomb comes out for Kuro. There's the jump in for G. That's the jewels of Shakira. Shakira's down. Buyback's immediately coming out from Vega Squadron. Both looking to return to the fray. On the sideline, Afterlife comes in with a Burrow Strike. Immediately on to one of them. Have they got the damage to finish off G jumps? What they have. They'll take down GH. But GH and Kuro buying back in. Miracle pops the just takes down the troll. Charge forward will be cancelled. The Matuma Man holds back the Spirit Breaker with the Yules. But Afterlife, here with the episode of the Burrow Strike as well. BKB popped out from Miracle, just picked up. Trying to bash up against the Lower Dunn. But he gets the BKB out himself in time. Matuma Man has the Lincoln's proc. Ready to go back in that Miracle. BKB is going to run out. Slayer charges away. Any further catch, Miracle looking for Bashes, G. Where the bash the bash. Matuma Man's there as well. By time for the Yule set up. Shiva's girl comes out as well. G falling low. Four stab back once. Can they save the Legion? Ice Path blocking off the rest of Vegas. Squadron Dream charge man up. Turn around, but he's not going to do it. G's gone. Slayer falling low as well. He's going to drop two down without buyback. As Liquid on the verge of closing it up, and they will. Oh GG well God. played is called. And Liquid take game one. Ooh. Clutch little plays just came out of there. It's like literally like the, the hex from Darks here coming into play in that top situation when they're pushing. They're they're gonna try and pressure liquid really, really hard. They've got a dust ready, so if he does go for this courier still, oh they, Slayer, you are dead. They should surely be able to kill him here. And that will be first blood. Give it a miracle. miracle. Yeah, that's pretty important. Looking towards G. Kuroki, he'll go for the easier one. Finds the bro strike connection onto silent. 
And Silent will fall here as Liquid made the play. Can Vega get anything in return though? They look towards GH. G manning up. The Midnight Pulse is down. G will find the kill. The question is if Liquid can find themselves a second to equal this. G turning up, manning up onto Kuroki, but he'll lose his life. Kuro will fall as well. So it's a double kill for double kill as both mid laners pick up a bit of action. And they're actually going to take the whole thing. Yeah, Miracle comes in, and he's going to try and get what he gets. He gets the, yeah, at least three of the big creeps out of it. In fact, Lower Dance is in trouble with the chase down for the Blade Fury. Ooh. Liquid get not only the majority of the large creeps, but a kill as well. Afterlife rotating in, but the hookshot's still on cooldown for 10 seconds. And Liquid, they're going to get away with this one scot-free by the looks of it, unless Afterlife can get some big plays out with the cog blocks. He's looking to try and surround Miracle, but he himself in trouble. Now with the Blade Fury turnaround, Liquid, they're just being given even more here. Miracle blocking up Afterlife. Afterlife isn't going to get away. The lightning flies through in GH. They find themselves a second. They're not even done yet. Kuro pops the stick charges, comes in with the burrow oh strike, goodness. and Liquid get a third. To try to get oh, this very big kill with Beautiful this time. 50 gold away from Relic if they can kill Matumba. He's going to be pretty damn mad. The three oh, of them surround him. Actually, gets him out. out the cogs. Matumba. He's going to get away with this by the looks of it. Oh, the hookshot's going to miss. Oh, they needed that to connect so badly. And now the turnaround. My control jumps in. Gets the two of them in the black hole. Matumba, man, he's, he's still being chased down by Silent. Silent really wants this kill. Can he get it? No, he can't. The turnaround's there. Liquid take a third. Damn bomb. Mind control. Trying to close the gap onto a low R dance. Has the Malefist. Turn around oh. here with the Storm and the God Shrek with the BKB. He's going to try to five for Mind Control. A couple of hits there from the Echo Saber. Mind Control's gone. Croaky jumps in. Crook with the Blink Cow. Keeping himself alive. Manning up onto the bear here. Matuma Man's going to lose his bear. That's going to be the bear down once. Goes for the resummon. Now with the BKB wearing off, a low R dance has to be careful. There's the first defusal charge. Keeping him slowed down. He just actually turns. Miracle tries to play for him. Ooh, has to be careful there. Nearly gets taken down. But it will be the center falls. Silent with the Storm. Stolen Blade Fury, trying to make his way out of here, but Liquid continue to chase him down. They should get this. He's got the, the heal here from the Shrine, but the Sentry's down. They'll find the Rubik as well. All right, looking to contest the Roche, get Liquid out of there. They're moving on to Matuma Man with the Vibe Strike, but he's forced away. Will live now. Happy the center. play for Kuroki comes in with a two man power strike. Happy, that'll be Rubik down. A low announce, post the BKB in the God Strength. Looking towards Miracle, but mind control again with the black hole. But this time, Afterlife comes in with the hook shot, cancels it. The damage coming through. But again, the stun is it enough to turn it around for Liquid? Is not. They've lost three. Hookshot is definitely an opportunity. In fact, one mid lane. Although now has gone over. Oh, he gets the two man storm at that. And they're going to just start to melt. There's the black hole coming out. But again, Afterlife with the position to get the hookshot off, cancel it. The stolen black hole comes out and actually catches Miracle, allowing Vega to get the third kill. There's a good amount of jump potential from Vega. And they are claiming themselves a full set of second racks. Can they move down to the bottom? They're going for the Megas. I mean, Liquid are going to have the full five man back up. No black hole still for a bit of time. They smoked up, they're ready. Black hole up in 10 seconds. 10 seconds to black hole. Okay. This, is a, this is a new bear, so they, don't, they can't let this bear die either. Miracle is going to look to open up onto the Viper, trying to force them back. Savage Roar as well, forcing them away for the time being. Croaky comes in with the bow strike. There's Mind Control with the two man black hole. But again, Afterlife with these hookshot plays, allowing the lower else to get a bit of a punch in return. But Kuro is there with the Epi. They have brought down the Sven. They've brought down G once. Can they do it again? G has the BKB, pops in. It, trying to turn a man fight up, but the healing ward's out. Liquid are surrounding him, but he hurricane pikes his way out of them. They'll lose the Rubik on the sidelines. Vega now are now on the retreat. Slayer spotted out by the dust. Defusal blade charge there as well to slow him down, securing a third. She fit what he wants, what he needs, other than that battle fury. I'll jump in from a low R dance again, straight on through but Kuroki's there with a quick reaction. The Burrow Strike comes in. Lord is gonna be up for oh, my goal! Gets the five man black hole! They're all dead! Vega! He won! Oh my god! What a play there from my control! He One of the best black holes I've seen in a while! Oh my, he gets all four, then Afterlife tries to hook oh, up his homies and he gets stuck that in it too. Again. He scouted the smoke. the smoke, yeah. They know what's up, G. Up onto the high ground, pops the BKB, hook shot in from Afterlife, catching the Enigma on the back line, making it very hard for Mike trying to find the initiation that he needs. Jump forward there with the burrow strike, and Lord Arms goes for it, but again, Mike Control gets the black hole. It's all over on this bottom lane. A second black hole comes through. They lose three. Again, Mind Control with the perfect hold, forcing Vega back. Looks like they may just get G as well. He'll turn towards GH. He will bring down the Zeus with him. But Miracle's there with the chase down. G to fall as well. I say the evasion making it tricky. They do finally get him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
we go. The Bottom black lane. hole. Yeah, he's gonna drop it. He sees the Sven. He knows that there's no buyback on Aloha. That's just game. He's got the refresher too, if he wants to, but he's got 60 seconds. That was with Arcane Rune. So the black hole is back up in 60 seconds. They do have the stolen black hole though. They do, that's if true. If they could do something big with that, but you're right, it's not looking great with no Sven for 100 seconds. Miracle getting gone up on. They're very close. Mind control there though with the second black hole. It will get canceled though. BKB is coming out. G focusing Kuroki. They'll take down the Sand King. Kuroki, well, he, he takes his time, but he does finally fall. They're holding here, Vega. G just doing massive amounts but of damage. Matu in the the top lane. there to GHGH has gone to Dimatu. He's looking for the structures. He's looking for the objectives. He's already moving in onto the middle lane. He's just going for melee racks onto melee racks. Can they stop this bear? Slayers onto him, but the bear's just going ham. Double kill for Miracle as he picks up the Rubik. Buyback comes out from the clock, but they've lost the bottom racks. Liquid, they're cleaning up. Kuroki did buy back for this one. G looking to punish him. Comes back in with a Boris strike. Matuma Man actually getting caught out afterlife, just doing it here with the battery assault. Bringing him down low. Matsu will just keep himself alive as he's shoved back. Full stuff down to Afterlife to save him. Mind control again with the BKB. But G moves in. Axie finds Matuma Man. G still alive. Finally drops. And it looks like they will end up losing the bounty as well. They'll get themselves back in. Both Slayer and Afterlife. They've taken down one. They're looking for the second.